And then Christy Neal came to give a presentation. Mm -hmm. The presentation that they've been, they gave to every uh, jurisdiction that has a fire responsibility. Yeah. So uh, they gave it to Santa Fe, they gave it to the county. Um, in fact, I actually just heard uh, recently that the, today the county board approved the formation and became the first agency to join the uh, county-wide wildfire prevention uh, JPA. Um, obviously, uh, it's not sort of the voters. It needs a two-third vote because they're proposing it's going to be funded via a uh, parcel tax. Um, so there's more to come on that, but they're trying to gather the support of all of So they did presentations, and then they're going to do follow-up uh, uh, resolutions asking for uh, these jurisdictions to formally join this JPA. Was she asking anything of us specifically? Isabella? Um, I got the impression that it was more of a temperature uh, taking exercise um, than a formal commitment. Uh, I don't believe we took a vote. No, 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 um, not this time. Com committing um, uh, the district one way or the other. Um, so, um, yeah, it was a lengthy presentation as to why the county would benefit from a joint, uh, proactive wildfire prevention effort. Do they provide any assistance to any of our neighboring, any neighbors that are adjacent to our open space in regards to defensible space clearing? The county? Yeah. They don't provide any assistance to Marinwood lands at this point. I yeah. don't know. Not specific to that initiative. And, and we're not doing that, are we? Uh, we have yes and no. Uh, yes, we are doing it. Yes, we have plans for it. Yes, we have policies that we've kind of mirrored the county's okay. policies. Uh -huh. Um, however, we also have money allocated, and I've been working with the city of Santa Fe and their prevention staff, um, of which they recently just replaced, well, both of them, um, as well as Quinn Gardner, who's the emergency services manager for, you know, Quinn, for the city of Santa Fe, um, just kind of addressing a plan and what we have looked at and decided is the priority given the amount of resource we have for it right now is really that kind of buffer zone around some of the more vulnerable areas that directly interface residential housing, right. you know, the movies yeah. with uh, that and looking at those 100 yard, uh, 100 foot defensible space, defensible yeah. space clearings. The other thing that I am working on with Santa Fe is, uh, and I actually put this in my manager uh, report for the board meeting, is uh, working on a uh, grant application to bring in AmeriCorps and a team of like 8 to 12 to physically go out and do that work. It would be a very minimal cost to the district, uh, basically tools, supplies, things along that. San Rafael would be a joint uh, applicant. They would actually stay at the old fire station uh, 53 on Joseph Court, just over there. Santa Rafael had a team last summer um, that ended in about mid-July. That's where they stayed. They said it worked out really well, and uh, we're looking at uh, trying to help us get that same resource to get them to come out and they would be able to do, oh, well, let's just say it would take our funds and stretch them exponentially in terms of how much work could actually get done to do all that because we don't have the personnel to do that kind of work. We'd be spending our money contracting labor to do it, as opposed to uh, bringing in this on an AmeriCorps grant, which would be really cool. And Quinn Gardner, who is the one I've been working with, is actually a former AmeriCorps. So she has a lot of knowledge and connection in it as well. That was also AmeriCorps. Well, there you go. One point. Um, so, uh, I'm sorry, maybe I missed it. Do we, do, you, do we have like a written plan that can be reviewed by the public on, in regards to where like how much, how many acres we're, we're clearing? We have a policy. But uh, is there, are there maps and whatnot where somebody could review that? In terms of what I was just talking about? Yeah. No, it hasn't been solidified. So there, it's not a finalized thing. We're it's, working towards that. Yes. And then we're looking at it and saying, okay, we have 
forty thousand dollars set aside for vegetation management specific to those. How much can we get done? Where's the priority areas? And we're again looking at the woolies. But in looking at that, uh, it's also identifying what areas are, are not property that the district owns. Mm -hmm. So like uh, there's areas, say, uh, you know, kind of out by Heatherstone, um, up on top of the hill over there. It's that HOA actually, Regency. It's States. HOA. Yeah. It's also MMWD. Yeah. There's an HOA Regency has weird pockets. Yeah. All of the area on the other side of Las Colinas here, like Elvia Court and everything, is all owned, private owned by, a, by a, what's, known, what's called the Daphne Trust. So literally the district cannot go out and start doing sure. work on those properties. So it's you know identifying each one of those that isn't ours and then looking at it. The main areas we've been looking at, and again, this is incredibly preliminary, is kind of from Idleberry starting kind of where it breaks to go to the kind of county farm area, working all the way down and around along Miller Creek and focusing on that area right now as kind of the prime uh, threat area that uh, is most vulnerable. Is there a target date to finalize that plan? Um, it kind of fell when they lost all of their veg management people who they've just brought back on. Uh -huh. um, so we're getting it back up and going. Taking advantage of their expertise in planning it out and looking at it. And that's all part of our contract with them for um, Chief Officer and Administrative Services. So once that's finalized, that will come to this commission then for us to review. Uh, yeah, and the fire commission right. and everything else, and right. then ideally we'll have more information too on if can we bring the AmeriCorps to really do the work and get it all done. In the meantime, we continue to promote what our current policy is, which is that you know private homeowners can do vegetation management 100 feet into the open space without need for a permit. Um, that we are welcome to come out. Uh, they're welcome to ask for an assessment from the fire department in terms of what should be cleared, how should it be cleared limiting up, doing work like that. Thank you. Yep. And they, and I will say the fire department has also gone around and done a lot of uh, private uh, residential veg management inspections on request too. And they've been obviously getting more of those in the, this year especially. Right. And they'll go out and do an assessment, you know, just kind of a eyeball test and say, yep, you got some iron here. These are flammable plants there. This is this. I would recommend doing all this. And they've done quite a few of those. And they've been using the volunteer firefighters, I believe, to do that, right? And um, the crew as well. Yeah, the volunteer and AmeriCorps actually went and didn't go by specific request, went through and did kind of a blanket survey and driving the streets and looking at areas. When we get calls in, our on-duty guys do it um, in between calls when they have time and they go out uh, and have a, a, quite a bit more training and understanding of that than the un our other volunteers. Uh, Otis Smith, Brian uh, Smith, has kind of been leading that charge. He is our prevention officer and he's been the one who's been trying to do it during his duty days when they're not on call or don't have something else going on. They go out and do the inspections and actually do a really nice write-up uh, about it and send it to the homeowner and copy me and the chief in on it. I think the, my primary concern with the presentation and the effort altogether is that it really doesn't address the um, the frontline issue, which is um, money for the work being done, because that will create another layer of bureaucracy that I can see how that is needed to coordinate the efforts and to educate everyone and bring everybody on the same page. However, it does not fund the actual work work, or it funds it to a limited um, Really? The $21 million a year that they're talking about getting out of uh, this parcel tax? Yeah, that's why I was asking if the county was going to help in this endeavor. So my understanding was that we would get a fraction of the funds that we would be paying into it. Um, hmm. Was I mistaken? I don't know. No, 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 I'm not correcting you. I, I, my understanding was Ideally, the, the, a lot of these funds were to do the veg management work, were as well as the administrative, as well as some of the other preventive. Uh, and then looking at some of the things that were addressed in the grand jury report, like the evacuation route yeah. and things like that. Yeah, too. I mean, I saw this hmm. being primarily applicable to areas like Mill Valley or right. Salido, where you have one lane uh, road that's overgrown right. and, and obstructed, and yeah. that's you know that's obviously an issue. 
which mm -hmm. is not necessarily that applicable in our area. Um, right. Well, and that's the part that will be interesting is, to your point, and I think there is some confusion, and maybe I'm just uh, still a little too ignorant on it, in that, so the county jumped on, but they don't have a formal written up of what this JPA is. They have a, you know, I mean, this has got to go into an ordinance that's going to go onto the ballot, um, and that, I don't believe, has even happened yet. Right. Um, which is like there, there, there have been is, studies made to kind of take the temperature on what the, right. what the voters would approve, whether it would be parcel tax versus sales tax, etc. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I mean, I th I think the expectation is that it is going to be on the November ballot. Um, March. March. March ballot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. March. March. Yeah, that's the expectation as far as I know it right now too. So I guess it, to your point, it would be concerning if a large portion of that funding that they've done, because they're talking 21 million a year that this thing would bring in countywide, if that's not uh, earmarked in a large portion to do the vegetation management work, uh, would be concerning. <laughs> you know, what is, what is it for? I don't know. I, uh, I'm, I, I need to educate myself a little further on that's it. I just good. don't think that they've formally drawn that up yet. Yeah. Um, is, is, my point, maybe what they presented to the Board of Supervisors at their meeting today where the Board of Supervisors approved it had more. I haven't had a chance to look at their packet yet, so I don't know. And I haven't received anything directly for it yet. And unfortunately, I wasn't at the meeting, but this presentation was like an hour plus. So uh, I would certainly defer to whatever is developed. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I mean, to, to hold my attention for over an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to sidetrack us, I'm no. just curious about that. It's, I don't feel like as, on the Park Commission we've really ever talked about defensible space. Right. And when a plan does get finalized, I would be um, curious to review it. Sure. Yeah, sure. No, and to your point, I mean, I guess even in my own mind, I've always looked at this as more of a fire prevention fireside, and uh, even no, it goes into our open space. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, how the work done, and mm -hmm. that's. that's can be, uh, there's a lot of details there, so. Yeah, have they uh, come to the uh, open space district with this at all? The um, fire department? Um, the county fire. With right, this. or, or well, even the, the about County um, Parks and Open Space Commission has heard uh, reports from our staff on veg management and wildfire prevention. I don't know if the fire department has presented to them. I would think yes. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I know that they went around and put up all 19 current agencies that have fire protection responsibility, but it would seem that they'd also be hitting up the agencies, and usually they're one and the same. So I guess since the County Board of Supervisors ultimately the, is the board of Right, the, right. We have staff uh, on Marine County Parks that specifically spend their, their entire yeah. job is focused on this. They present to the Parks and Open Space Commission almost every session, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it, it is a, it's an important issue, obviously. Yeah, and I just don't know what levels of collab. I, that was my question. What yeah. levels of collaboration are happening there? I wonder. Yeah. But I don't know. And hopefully, when oh, which, between the County Fire Department and and Marin County Parks. Well, just oh, this oh, wow. this larger initiative. Yeah, yeah, and, no, and, there and, there and there is. I'm I'm not right. Not right no, I get it. That's, yeah. yeah, I get it. All right. Yeah, sorry, I wish I'd give you more. I'll yeah. see if I can get some more info from uh, okay. Chief Gray on it, too, because he's been uh, pretty plugged in, obviously, on this other county. I'm sure this presentation is available. Yeah, there. if it was at the commission today, you can view it online right yeah. now. It's yeah, well, and you can go and watch the what they presented here. Yeah. Um, you're not going to be able to see the slideshow quite so great, but I can get you a copy of Slideshow, but well, you'll be able to hear I've seen content. Christy's presentation. Okay. She's done it. She does it all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Sorry.